What's going on everyone? Neri Rodriguez here in Union, where one of the greatest traditions in New Jersey high school football has returned. After two years off, the annual Phil Sims New Jersey North-South All-Star Football Classic coming at you from Kane University. First play of the game, Newark Westside's Deshaun Poo Lawton knows there's only one way to start a football highlight here at Jersey Sports Zone. Fresh cookies! The drive would stall, but South eventually kicks a field goal to lead 3-0 after the first. Second quarter, South inside the red zone. They hand it off to Justin Pessoa, and the Clayton Clipper takes this one in from 15 yards out. The South All-Stars in front 10-0 with 6.32 remaining in the first half. On North's next drive, they get inside the red zone. However, a bad snap leads to a fumble, and Trenton Sam Gady comes up with it. The Rutgers commit in the right place at the right time. It would be short-lived. Next touch for South, they go to the air again, and Donovan Swayze of Clifton knows what to do. Cookies! North takes over again and is facing a fourth and goal with just six seconds to play. The pass from Raiden Oliver hitting off the defender's hands. No, Nick Donovan makes the catch for six. The Seton Hall Prep Pirates showing the crowd what hand-eye coordination is all about, and we have to run that back. North trails 10-6 at halftime. Midway through the third, we're still at that score. South quarterback Hamas Duran looking downfield airs it out, and Zach Thomas of Morris Catholic not fooled. Thomas says, give me that. North with their third interception of the game takes over. Closing moments, East Orange's Raiden Oliver connects with West Orange's Makai Green, and the Oranges put their differences aside to end the third inside the goal line. That's going to set up a short three-yard reception from Ramsey tight end Matt Weir and the Fordham commit giving North a 13-10 lead two minutes into the fourth. Next touch for North Verona quarterback Hale Zabrowski losing this ball on the ground briefly lofts one up to Nick Dunneman and Dunneman with another huge grab brings them within the 20. Zabrowski then links up with Dominic Verducci of Parsippany Hills and North in front 21-10 with 452 left after a two-point conversion. South on the verge of running a two-minute drill, not ready to go away just yet. Shawnee quarterback Matt Welsey stepping up in the pocket, threads the needle in double coverage to Cole Kozlowski of Manisquan for an unbelievable score. They trail 21-16 as 214 remains. South would get one last shot with under a minute left, but this pass hitting off the receiver's hands tipped up right to Zayon Laney. The Rawway Indian looking for the pick six eventually brought down, and that would do it. 21-16 your final, the North All-Stars taking the 2022 Phil Sims game. With no game the last two years, North winning for a second consecutive time. Deshaun Poo Lawton, your defensive MVP for North, while offensive goes to Raiden Oliver for his two touchdown passes. Two-time Super Bowl champ and former Giants captain Jonathan Gassi is helping with coaching duties for South alongside some of the best high school football coaches the state has to offer. Ashley Smoke Pierre of Irvington leading North in this one. Just an overall great day if you're a football fan and every player involved making a lifetime of memories. We caught up with the stars of the event afterwards. Yeah, so it was definitely an honor playing with the best uh, players across the state. Um, you know, it was all business coming into this uh, weekend. You know, we had two days of prep, and uh, I knew that we had to put in a lot of work to be able to come up with the win, and it seems that we did that, you know, seeing that we were successful. So I'm glad it all worked out. But it felt amazing just to good, be out here with these best guys in Jersey, most talented guys in New Jersey. They had me on edge. I lost my voice. You know, I've been yelling all game. A couple days ago when I was at practice, yelling all, all practice. Man, it's a tremendous group of kids out here, a tremendous group of coaches out here, and I'm just excited to be a part of it. I think we want it bad for each other, man. I was amongst some guys that don't like losing either. Um, you know, Coach Gibbs doing an amazing job at Ramapo calling the offense. He doesn't like losing Rob Grogerty from Cedar Grove. He doesn't like losing Ray Oliver at East Orange. He doesn't like losing. So I think we all had the same mindset. It wasn't about me. It was more about... Man, we're not we're not used to losing games, um, and today is not going to be the day that we start that process. You know, to start that uh, that streak. Well, it, it's great to be back. Look at the excitement. It was one of the better games that I've been a part of here since I've been back helping them out, and a lot of fun. And now I just know the game could even be better, more exciting. 
and I love the fact that we had a pretty good crowd here tonight, too. It's safe to say, is New Jersey a little too crazy about football? No, no, shoot, come on. It's the way it should be. High school football is awesome. Every year I say the same thing. I'm on the sideline going, oh, my gosh, these kids are so good. And uh, really, this game is exciting and one of the best I've seen. For Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Neri Rodriguez.